Selectman's Regatta, a Hingham tradition that goes back over 40 years and is held in historic Hingham Harbor. Lincoln Maritime, or originally Lincoln Sailing, has been hosting this event as a thank you to the Selectmen for their support for allowing our program to exist on this wharf. And we've been here for 43 years, and this is our 43rd Selectmen's Regatta. The race started in 1971, kind of as an outcrop of the Selectmen said we needed to do something to thank them and to bring more action to the waterfront. I said to the Selectmen, I said, okay, let's have a Selectmen's Regatta and uh, we'll have it the Selectmen against the other town committees. Well, it's evolved over the years that not all the selectmen could sail, so uh, and not all the town committees wanted to come. So that other other organizations have gotten involved, such as Rotary Club and uh, the community center, and things around town. In other words, it's more of a round town race rather than just the selectmen's regatta. And since the selectmen's regatta is a community event, why not hold it at a community organization? Uh, Lincoln is a community program and uh, we rely on the support of the town, in particular the town officials, to um, occupy this space. It's town property um, which we do uh, lease from the town, but um, without their support we would not be able to do what we do. We put um, hundreds of people, about 600 people a season uh, through our programs and that's uh, significantly because we have the support of the town officials. So this is a chance for us to invite those same town officials to come down, uh, spend a little time with us to see firsthand what it is that we do. Um, we know they're busy in town and don't always have a chance to come down and spend that time with us, so this gives them a specific opportunity to do just that. Well, uh, I've heard about it. I'm not really a sailor, but uh, I've enjoyed the harbor from the land side for years, so I figured I'd give it a shot and come down and uh, see the youthful sailors in action and um, lend my presence to the Selectman's Regatta. This is very special for me. Tally and I have been supporters of Lincoln virtually since we moved into town. We met Jenny Gray and Brian Curtis and Nick Kokinos, who many people will remember, and the rest is history. We're very blessed to have this organization that provides teaching maritime skills to the kids and adults, and they do it at very cheap prices. They offer scholarships to kids that don't have the money, and it teaches great love of the harbor. Well, it's a beautiful night. It truly is, and it's good to see all the children down here and the familiar faces and just all the activity that goes on in the harbor. Uh, and hopefully in the future we can put something together that the town will really enjoy and participate in and uh, further enhance the experience of living in a coastal town and historic hangar. Uh, it means a great deal to me to come as a selectman now and to continue to support the organization and also to continue to watch the evolution of the harbor and I'm really excited to work with everybody as we move towards a community boating center which this will evolve into where we can do more for more kids and more of the high school rowing team and sailing team so it's all very exciting we're very very lucky to have this beautiful harbor and uh, we only have one chance to get it right. The Selectman's Regatta also allows Lincoln Maritime Center the opportunity to show off their grounds to the entire Hingham community. Um, the Selectman's Regatta is a, is a wonderful event that we co-locate with the award ceremony and that gives us another chance to um, invite the, the community in. This is our end of the, end of the season wrap up. Um, we get to recognize all of the sailors who participated throughout the year with um, awards recognition for their achievements. Um, they've spent a summer working down here to try to get better at whatever discipline they've elected to pursue and so this is a nice chance to come together and celebrate all of those marvelous victories. But the night's main event is the regatta and the weather couldn't be any better. Well, tonight uh, the conditions are perfect, absolutely perfect. A little bit nervous, actually. We have about five to eight knots of wind, which makes me a little bit nervous with the lack of skill of some of our participants, but they are matched up with the uh, very talented Opti race class. We'll be using the turnabouts tonight, one of our one of our teaching boats. It's a small boat, it's a well-sized boat for an adult and a, uh, a student uh, crew. The course, we try to limit the challenge. Uh, they will be sailing out towards Button Island, which is off the little island located in the middle of Hingham Harbor, through the mooring field, 
out around the edge of the mooring field, and then they come racing right back. We have set it so they don't have to go upwind too much, but they will be reaching across the harbor. So it's a little, it should be a little bit of a parade. Yeah, you might see a little bit of pushing and shoving going on. We would, of course, always like to see the selectmen win, thanking them for our great support. Um, but it's always an interesting evening to see who ends up being victorious. So, Irma, you're representing the selectmen. Yeah. Paul is representing the selectmen. Rick is representing the Rotary Club of Hingham and Hull. Laura is representing the advisory committee. Jim oh. Randall is representing Hingham High School Rowing Association. Hey. Jim, per Jim, Jim Downey. Rick, Downey. Rick, Rick. <laughs> Tally is representing the search team. Oh, right. And Sturt is going to represent the former former employees of Lincoln. <laughs> okay. All right. The course. The course will be between the duck. Um, that buoy's a little bit off station. James, he wasn't. Okay. Yeah, but it's going to be moved up towards the upper side of the other side of a button. Okay. And then you're going to go to this other orange it's one going on itself. and coming in. So hopefully you guys can all see the marks easily. So we leave the buoys on our right hand side. You are going to yes. The sailors of the boat do know how to sail, and their instructions are they only maintain the tiller in the event of a major emergency. Uh, you. Just follow the boat in front of you. Okay, so we actually sail the boat. Just follow Laura's, I think. Yes, that's a full house skirt. Words of advisory, just follow the boat. last time. There we go. So, simple course. So, and then as soon as you're done, and then we just come back in and we do have awards and we do have a cooking. Is that big trophy? Is that what the The big trophy is the, the Selectman's Regatta. It, it is a Selectman's Trophy. It lives in the trophy case right outside the Selectman's office.
actually head over to that other buoy or whatever. I got it. I definitely want a shot at like the first person to cross, so. I mean, I'm sure you got it.
and his Lincoln crew, Andy. <laughs> and we have little plaques for each of Thank them you. as a permanent memento, because believe it or not, Rick cannot keep the trophy and no, he can't put whatever his beverage of choice is <laughs> in the trophy. I wish ice and water. Ice and beer. Perfect. So congratulations to Rick for an awesome race. Andy. Carrie Ellis. Yep. That's the reason we won. He's the, he's the guy that, that told us how to stand. And Paul Where and I are bummed we didn't. <laughs> we and tried. It wasn't though. for our crew. Our crew was great. CJ was awesome. I learned what lofting is today. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't learn what turtling is. <laughs> Where is Andrew? What was the key to success tonight? My crew. Andrew Carrie Ellis. Uh, did a great job crewing. He kept me straight. He kept me going where he knew where the marks were. I didn't, and we did a good job. Uh, Rick said you were the key to success. Is that true? Did he do anything to help out, or he just wanted to do that? He was the skipper, so he did the most. Did so we had a really good start, and so we started on this side, and so then we basically made it in one tack. So, and then we went downwind we pulled our centerboard up and so when we jibed it was basically like that and when we went into the mooring field we put our centerboard uh, down more because we had to ma maneuver around the boats and so when we finished it was fun what a great weather day the puffy clouds all day long the, the wind is perfect we had a great time this is, this is the Selectman's Regatta, and every year we seem to have good weather. And the wind was just right today.